All right, so I talked about a while ago, a little while ago, I talked about an idea I had rego- revolving around Gigan, you know, one of my favorite villain kaiju. So I kind of decided, you know what, I want to talk about another idea I've always wanted to do regarding another one of my favorite kaiju in the Godzilla universe, and that one is none other than Jet Jaga. <laughs> Yes, je- a je- I've always had like this idea for doing a Jet Jaguar story because I've always, even before um, you know rulers of Earth uh, proved that Jet Jaguar could be cool. Jet Jaguar to me has always been cool. Um, I've always thought the character was really cool, even though yeah, he came out at a time period when you know Ultraman and all these other kaiju were you know these um, like robot type uh, superhero gross sa- shape size shape and all that fuck. <laughs> I can't make words today, apparently. But yeah, he came in that time period, and yeah, he is very much he is mostly inspired by Ultraman, but still, Jet Jaguar is a pretty cool kaiju in my opinion. I think I don't know well, I don't know if he counts as kaiju, maybe mecha. Yeah, mecha is probably the better word for him. But yeah. Jet Jaguar I always had this idea in my head of of following around Jet Jaguar, so uh, without further ado, let's talk about um, the Jet Jaguar story I've always wanted to do. So the story is, it revolves around, um, it takes place thirty year, around 30 to 40 years after the events of Godzilla vs. Megalon. Jet Jaguar, af- shortly after his, ba- you know, his and Godzilla's victory over Gigan and Megalon, Jet-, Jet Jaguar, shortly, months later, disappeared. He actually left the planet. He actually, le- you know, after gaining sentience, he left the planet and took off into space. And he's been gone for over, for nearly 40 years. And then suddenly, after 40 years, Jet Jaguar has finally returned to Earth. In this time, Dr. Ibuki's son has, you know, gro- he's grown up, and he's actually had kids of his own. So... In that time frame, uh, Jet Jaguar has returned and everyone's freaked out. Like, where the fuck has he been? Where the fuck has Jet Jaguar um, run off to? His, you know, where did he disappear to? And now everyone's, you know, questioning why did Jet? First off, why did Jet Jaguar leave? And secondly, what? Where did he go? And yeah, so the story, so the story revolves around this big mystery of Jet Jaguar's um, intergalactic travel into space. And it turns out that, yeah, what Jet Jaguar went up to <laughs> when he left the planet, he went to go kick some intergalactic ass. <laughs> um, as it turns out, Jet Jaguar um, one night picked up radio signals on his antennae of an a-, a-, a supposed alien invasion. So, already gaining sentience and already having love for his creator and his creator's child, Jet Jaguar, for them, decided... I must do the right thing, and took off, and for the past 40 years, he's been fighting an alien race, you know, by himself, and virtually just, you know, stopping this alien invasion from ever happening. Um, which I think, you know, I always wanted to do that, like, have Jet Jet Jaguar has been, like, this mysterious hero, and for the past 40 years, by himself, he's been doing battle with this alien race, and yeah, he's been protecting another planet that was under. He cut. He what he did. He didn't inadvertently, you know, save this other. He did inadvertently save this other planet. But what he wanted to do was stop this alien fleet. So he found it on another planet that they were conquering. And what would happen is that they would be a hop, skip, and a jump to Earth. So he decided to cut them off before they reached them. But yeah, inadvertently, Jet Jaguar became the guardian to this other planet. He became the guardian and savior to another planet when he was battling this other alien race that wanted to conquer Earth. But Jet Jaguar, inadvert- like I said, inadvertently became a hero to this other alien race and became like their resistance leader. I wouldn't say, well, resistance leader is a little too strong. Maybe like Symbol. Even though he never really drew up battle plans or anything, Jet Jaguar would just come in, save the day, and leave. And he's been doing this for the past 40 years, and yeah, when he comes back to Earth, everyone's freaked out because, yeah, you just up and left. No robot should do that, ever. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, where was I going with this? Um, I lost my train. But yeah, when Jet Jaguar returns to Earth, he hangs out with uh, Dr. Ibuki's son, who's grown up and had kids of his own, but instead, he bonds with Ibuki's son's, his kids. 
he hangs out with Dr. Ibuki's grandchildren, and he, you know, more or less he hangs out with them, he spends time, you know, he spends time with them, and at the same time, the military wants Jet Jaguar because, yeah, a giant, a robot who can, you know, who can stop an entire alien race, as well as, you know, grow gigantic to a gigantic size and fight giant monsters, yeah, the military would want that. So as you can tell, this is a very Iron Giant type story, but Jet Jaguar is just done fighting. He's done. He's been doing it for 40 years, so he's kind of like, fuck this shit, I don't want to do this no more. So Jet Jaguar inadvertently, you know, why, why do I keep using that word? Jet Jaguar decides, I'm not going to fight for anyone anymore. I did that for 40 years, and the planet I saved, you know, the two planets I saved, one's killing itself, and, you know, they're more concerned with giant monsters than other issues, yeah, this is the other things that I wanted to do, is that have Jet Jaguar has gained sentience, but he doesn't talk, but he understands what's going on in the world. Like, he's analyzed, you know, everything. He's learned, you know, he's a thinking, he's a thinking robot now, and even though he can't talk out his problems or speak, he can still think out his own thing and contemplate, you know, and he's become very philosophical. He's, you know, he's known that the American mili- you know, not just the American military, but the military in general from all around the world will basically be like, look, I knew this was going to happen. If I came back to Earth, they would want to use me or replicate me into a weapon. And that's kind of what they do. They, be- they create um, uh, Colbot. Colbat is this um, dark Jet Jaguar. Kind of, yeah, the anti-Jet Jaguar that would be the endgame villain for Jet Jaguar to fight. So that's kind of the thing. I don't know if I'd have the other kaiju, like Ga- Godzilla in here. I don't know how I, you know, maybe this would be just solely a Jet Jaguar story. That's the thing, is that um, even though, yeah, I'd, I'd mention, this wouldn't be just like Jet Jaguar is off in his own universe. No, I'd have that, you know, mentions of other monsters like Godzilla, and, you know, obviously this takes place in the continuity of after Godzilla vs. Megalon, so yeah. And even having it, like, in when he was in space, he actually battled other space kaiju, like, such as King Ghidorah and, um, Hedera. You know, he battled those kaiju while he was in space. So, yeah. Something like that. So that's kind of my idea for a... <laughs> for a Jet Jaguar story. Jet Jaguar. Cosmic Defender. Or something less lame than that. <laughs> So you guys tell me, what do you guys think of this Jet Jaguar story? You guys like it, hate it? Just comment below, let me know. And once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.